Congratulations if you just ended up picking up your Apple TV. Luckily for you, it's a very basic box that you can do a ton of things with. And luckily for you, if you ended up picking up one of the newer Apple TVs like this one, there's a ton of features built in. Not only do you get this specific, you know, box, you also get this super high quality remote, which is very surprising. I forgot how, you know, expensive feeling these things are in and of itself. So I'll go and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this box. It's nothing complicated. You'll learn as you go. So I'll show you at a high level, basically everything that comes, you know, pre-installed and everything like that. Now, there are so many different models of these Apple TVs. There are some, I own a lot of them and they are all very different, but this is the new Apple TV 4K one. Now on the outside, there's nothing super insane. So if we take a look on the top, we'll have our Apple logo. So this is really cool. You know, you can go ahead and just kind of see, you know, show off that you have an Apple TV. On the front, there isn't anything. There is an LED light on the front, which is nice. So it will indicate to you exactly, you know, what's going on. And like, you know, if you're clicking a button on your remote, it'll go and flash this LED light. On the left and right sides, there's nothing as you guys can see. But on the back, that is basically where a ton of our information is going to be. So here, what you can do is you will have your AC adapter. So you can go ahead and plug in your AC adapter right here. So it comes right into the box. It's basically the wire that looks like this. So this is the wire. It basically has like two things sticking out on the outside. All you wanna do is go ahead and grab this and plug it in straight into the back of this specific port right here. Now, once it clicks in, you are good to go. Now the HDMI cord is something that I don't know if comes in the box or not. I don't know if I saw one, so you might have to buy one separately. But an HDMI cable is very, very common. It's like one of the most common wires out there. You can probably buy them for like a dollar nowadays, you know, on eBay. So what you can do is just go and grab an HDMI cord and go ahead and plug it into your HDMI port right here. Now there are other Apple TVs that I also have that basically do not have, they, they have an HDMI port and AC adapter, but they basically have a USB-C port here as well. So that can double as, you know, if you want to charge something, if you want to connect your Apple TV to other devices, you can go and do that too. But that is this on a high level. Now, the remote is a little bit of a different story. So before we show you the UI, the remote is also very interesting in and of itself. So we have our power button. So if you want to power on our TV, you can just basically point it to the TV right here and just go and click the power button. And it should go ahead and power up that specific Apple TV box. Now at that point, we also have our little touchpad. So depending on the remote you have, not every remote has a touchpad, but if you have one of the newer ones, you can go ahead and basically rub this around almost like an iPod, and you can go ahead and kind of select other things instead of clicking the buttons, but you have the buttons here too. Now on the bottom here, we have our back button, so we can go back on our UI. We have our home button basically right here in our TV, Apple TV button. We have our play pause button. We have our mute button. We have our volume up and down button here as well. And on the right side of our remote, we have a dedicated Siri button. So this is actually really cool. If you ever wanted to go ahead and pretty much just power on Siri and just go ahead to basically talk to Siri immediately, we have that capability with this specific remote as well. Now, if you look at the back, we no longer have a battery associated with this specific, which you don't have like a removable battery. We charge it by USB-C at the bottom, which is very interesting. They should have chosen Lightning. So now we have like so many different wires that we have. So that is this specific, you know, remote at a high level. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys the UI. And now we are inside of the UI. So after booting up your Apple TV, which you can boot up by simply just holding down the power button right here, we are now in the UI. Now this is Apple TV, this is tvOS. So we basically maneuver around our whole entire UI by clicking around these buttons right here. So like I said, we have our touchpad. So we can always swipe up and down basically from this thing. And if you are ever in a situation where you're not too sure, you can always click the back button right here to basically come back to your home. This is basically the home panel. So from here, we have a bunch of different applications. Now, all I'm going to do is be clicking basically these buttons. The middle button, like I said, it doubles as a touchpad. So you can see as I'm rubbing this around, it also moves around the UI right there. But I can also click into a specific, you know, application and click into the home button or, the, you know, OK button basically. And you can go and kind of, you know, continue things like this. If you ever want to go back home, you can just click here and it'll take you back to Apple TV. I typically click this if I want to go back to Apple TV or it's basically a shortcut to Apple TV. If you wanna go home, just click the back button and you'll pretty much always be home. Now, these applications kind of go all over the place. So starting off, we have Apple TV. So this is basically like the TV application that we just kind of opened up. So if you have an Apple TV subscription, you can go and view everything there. You also have Apple Music built into Apple TV to TV OS as well. So if you ever wanna go ahead and listen to some songs or anything like that, you can go into Apple TV. If you wanna get into your photos, and if you ever want to like show people your photos, I've seen a lot of people even have videos that they would showcase onto their TV, which is really cool, simply by having this Apple TV box, which is cool. 
Now you also have Apple Arcade, which is very interesting. I don't know if you want to, if you are somebody who wants to go and have, you know, Apple Arcade, but you have a ton of games built in here that you can download. It is not free. I think it's like five dollars a month or something like that. I'm not too sure, but that is another option that you have. Clicking back, and again, all I'm doing is clicking the back button right here. We do have also our Apple Fitness Plus, which is cool. So if you have Apple Fitness, you can go ahead and get into Apple Fitness here as well. Now, those applications are kind of advertisements. Most of the time, people will really only have Apple TV, and they probably won't have any of these other things. Now, scrolling down, we get into our App Store. So this is really cool. This is an application that a lot of people will probably end up using. Now, like I mentioned, you also have your little Siri button on the side. So if you want to enable Siri or search, you can just click on this button and it kind of opens up this like search panel. You can also hold down the button if you want. And sometimes Siri should pop up. Sometimes it doesn't, I guess. I guess it didn't have it enabled. So here you can go and search up anything. If you want to search up shows, you have tons of things you can search up for here, which is really cool. And again, if you ever want to go back out, just click this back button right there and you'll basically go back to your previous panel. Now, like I said, inside of your app store, you can basically search up anything you want. There's tons of tvOS applications that are supported. I also heard that there's going to be some other stuff coming too, like possibly some iPhone app support. We're going to have to see what happens in the future. But if you're one of these sports, you know, I, if you ever watch boxing, you can go through the zone. If you ever want to do anything else here, you can just basically click on whichever thing you're interested in. You can get that specific application and you can pretty much move on from there. So that's like another really, really big thing as well. Now, stepping back down, we have tons of other apps here. You can go download the YouTube app, some stuff that's pretty basic, the Netflix app as well. So you have tons of different capability here, which is really cool. Now, clicking the back button once more, not only does it, I guess, go back, but it also brings you back up into a panel as well, which is very interesting. Now, clicking it back once more, we have our podcast application, movies, TV shows. We have our search button here too, which I demonstrated earlier. So if you ever want to, you can just click the search button here. It'll bring you here, or you can just click that search button there. Now, we also have two different ones. We have computers and we have settings. So if we go and click on computers, if you have any other, you know, computers or things that are associated with your Apple ID account, I think you can go ahead and kind of manage some settings here too, which is cool. Now clicking back, settings is a big application that you really kind of need to get used to. Now the first thing I would probably recommend doing, I guess we'll go up in order. So general we have up here, we just have a bunch of different information here. You can sleep your Apple TV after 15 minutes. I would probably recommend doing that just because if your Apple TV is idling there, you probably forgot to turn it off. So you can you know, set up a lot of these other situations here too. I do have Siri off. If you ever want to enable it, you can just go and enable it from there. And going back, we have users and accounts. You can just manage your users and account settings here. Video and audio. If you want to go ahead and change how your video is being shared or showcased, you can go up to 4K now, which is really cool. So this TV only supports up to 1080p. But if you have a monitor that supports 4K, you should be able to go ahead and support up to 4K, which is really cool now if your TV, if your Apple TV supports it. Remember that. I have HDMI output, reset video settings, audio output. If you want to change any of these settings here, you have that type of capability. So clicking back once more, we have notifications, pretty basic. Airplay and HomeKit, basically if you want to allow Airplay, basically if you have an iPhone or whatever and you want to share something to this Apple TV, we can go ahead and kind of enable it there too, which is really cool. You have remotes and devices. So if you want to set up, kind of configure your Apple TV remotes a little bit more. So I personally like click and touch. Some people like click only, but I like click and touch. It's a little bit more intuitive. You can also see your no Apple remotes battery as well, which is very interesting. And so many other settings here too. Now, I don't want to bore you too much, but we do have like accessibility, we have apps, network, which is like your Wi-Fi settings, and you have system. Now, with system, this is a massive one. So you have help, what's new, but right here under software update, if you ever want to update your Apple TV, this is where you go. You want to go and click software update, you want to click update software, and you want to see if there's an update available. So you can see that there is an update available, 16.1. This is a massive thing. I would recommend every single person, whoever owns a specific Apple TV, to just go ahead and update your Apple TV as often as you can. That is the thing that's probably going to unlock the most potential from your box. So that is a massive thing in my opinion. So update your software. You can even have it update automatically, which I would probably just recommend doing this because your Apple TV is going to be in the background. You might as well just go and update it as often as you can. Now going back, if you want to reset your Apple TV, meaning you're probably going to sell it or you're going to return it or whatever, you can go ahead and reset it. You can reset and update it, which is very interesting. Never seen that before. And you can just basically reset it from here and it'll delete everything from your Apple TV. You can also restart your Apple TV by clicking the restart button. And that is pretty much everything at a high level of how to use Apple TV or tvOS 16 as of right now. So it's not anything crazy. It's very, very basic stuff. If you ever have any questions or, or you run into any problems, 
all you have to do is either search it up online, you can search it through your iPhone, or what you can do is you can also leave a comment in the comment section, and maybe somebody who is an expert at Apple TV may end up being able to help you as well. So that might be another thing you may want to look into it too. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.